Hello, I'm John Michael. I'm the chef of Blueberry's restaurant in Iron Napa, Cyprus. Today I'm going to cook for you a pasta dish. Pasta is one of my favorite foods. It's so versatile, you can cook it with anything, with salads, you can make a million dishes from pasta. Now everybody thinks pasta originally came from Italy, but in actual fact, pasta was introduced by the ancient Greeks when they colonized Italy. So in actual fact, it does have its origins in Greece. Now I'm going to cook for you today pasta bake, which is going to be a vegetarian dish, but you can add chicken or pork to this dish if you wish, but I want to keep it strictly vegetarian for the veggies today. Now I'm using pasta penne for this uh, tricolore for this dish about 500 grams one packet that's enough for about six to eight people I'm also going to use some mozzarella cheese I'm going to use for the vegetables some nice uh, mushrooms two medium-sized onions some bell peppers and I'm also going to use for seasoning salt and pepper and also some pasta stock which you can buy from the supermarkets I'm also going to add some olive oil some fresh cream and some dry white wine now that and some butter as well to uh, use for sauteing the vegetables. Now those are the ingredients. Okay, we're going to cook the pasta first. We're going to boil the pasta in salted water like you would normally do. Nothing special about that. About eight minutes, I mean, do check the pasta first, but about eight minutes is, should be fine. Al dente, just nice and crisp, okay? And while the pasta is cooking, I'm going to cut and prepare the mushrooms, the bell peppers, and then we're going to cook all those and mix everything together then we're going to pop those in the oven with the grated mozzarella cheese over the top. The water is boiling now, I've added the salt. Always make sure your water is boiling to take the time for how long you need for the pasta. About 8 minutes for this, I'm going to pop that in the boiling water now and then come back and start to cut the mushrooms and the bell peppers. Okay, I'm going to cut the mushrooms now. Okay, that's lovely. All the mushrooms, all the bell peppers. A nice veggie dish. Don't worry about the exact ingredients. We will be giving them on a recipe card after you can check. And do feel free to contact us if there's anything you're not quite sure about. You want to contact Blueberry's restaurant. I will give you the recipes personally. This is after all the restaurant with the personal touch. Okay, there we go. This is fine. That's for your size there, you can see there. We are going to melt some butter and olive oil for frying these now. Just finished cutting the onions and the bell peppers. Now the bell peppers, best to half them first, like so, and then when you've halved them, we're going to seed them. Just take out the head like so, again, half the pepper, take out the pith like so, and just shake out any extra seeds that are in there. We're going to prepare all those like this, then we're going to dice the peppers as well. If you are going to, this is a vegetarian dish like I said earlier on, but I mean if you are going to cook chicken or pork with this, um, again you're going to need to dice your chicken or your pork very very small, saute that, make sure it's cooked all the way through and mix it in with the vegetables. Peppers like so, about so big. All the bell peppers, the onions and mushrooms have all been chopped now, they're already in here. I've put them all together because we are going to saute them all together at the same time. And they're ready now. I'm just going to melt a bit of butter with the olive oil in the frying pan and we're going to start to saute those now. Okay, everything's in the frying pan now. We are just going to mix those in. Just, I don't want to overcook those, just till they're nice and soft and then we're going to add the seasoning and the wine and the fresh cream. And when the pasta bene is ready, we're going to drain those and add that mix all up together 
and then we're going to pop it in the dish with a grated mozzarella over the top and bang that in the oven for about five minutes just to brown off the cheese. All the vegetable ingredients are near now so I'm just going to add a little bit more salt and pepper to this and the white wine with the pasta maggi. A little bit of salt in there for the pasta bene as they say in Italia. Okay, a little white wine in there. Beautiful, look at that. I like white wine a little more. I have transferred all the ingredients to a big air frying pan because I'm now going to add the pasta bene in there. I'm going to mix all those. So I do want a bit of working space. There we go. Put the pasta bene in there and just add a little bit more of the white wine to this. Okay, and just toss all that and a little bit more salt and pepper for the pasta bene. Just a little. A pinch. There we go. And we can toss all that together now. Okay, that's all ready now. I'm going to add the fresh cream to there. A nice fresh cream. Beautiful. Just mix all that in well. And that is ready now to pop into the Jacanse dish ready for the oven. Okay, that's lovely. And we're ready. Yeah. You can see there now, everything's all blended in nicely. And that's ready now. I'm going to transfer all this over to put in the Jacanse dish now. Ready for the oven with the mozzarella cheese over the top. Okay, I can transfer over that to my other working space now. Okay, here we go. Okay. Add everything in there, in the jacanse dish, ready for the oven. Also, I want to prepare one, how I would serve it at the restaurant in the individual dishes. Obviously, the big one there is if you were doing it at home and it's for six to eight persons, but I want to get one ready for you the way you would have it at Blueberries if you were coming. Ooh, la mesa, as we serve blueberries. <laughs> and uh, I'm ready to just pop the cheese over the top of that now. Okay, that's lovely. Some nice grated mozzarella cheese now. Okay, just make sure that's all nicely covered. Plenty of mozzarella cheese. We are going to bake this until the cheese is nice and brown. Okay, and that's ready now. All the cheese is on. And just spread that out evenly. There we go. That's lovely. And there's your pasta bake all ready for the oven. A nice moderate heat, about 250-275 degrees. And it shouldn't take long, about 15 minutes. We'll pop that in the oven and should be ready. Pasta bene, pasta bake, and this is how I would serve it at the Blueberries restaurant with a nice salad. And also, I'm going to suggest a nice Nefeli wine by Echo again with this food. They, are, they do make beautiful wines. This is a nice, crisp, dry white, which will go beautiful with this. Nice pasta bake to eat with a nice salad on your veranda over the Mediterranean Sea. Beautiful. Signor, signores, enjoy your pasta bake. Buon appetit.